the children of the night what music they make. It's me, host Super Soro. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! It's Migos Dracula. Now, if you remember, guys, I got this off Amazon.com, and you remember when it arrived? What happened? It separated from the card. Luckily, I'm an unboxer anyway, so I wasn't overly mad. Um, although they do send these halfway across the world from America in a jiffy bag, so what were they expecting to happen? So. Rather than send it back just to get another one just to open it, I thought I'd rather keep the bo the, the the dodgy carded one because then the next collector won't have to have it, you know what I mean? I I'd hate for this to go back to HQ and then just basically re-glue the damn thing and send it back out, so... At least I'm going to unbox it anyway, so... I'd rather let someone else have the next one. But I have found these are quite expensive when you try and find them in the UK for whatever reason. Uh, the collectible shops are charging like 30 quid for one of these. Uh, but I found if you go on Amazon.com, they're between $15 to $20 each. Uh, sometimes you can even drop on like I did. I got this for $12. Uh, this is Bella Lugosi's Dracula from Lugosi Enterprises, which is on the back. And it is an official product by the Mego company. Um, it does have a bunch of stuff on the back here. Obviously, it's got a picture of Bella Lugosi there on the back. This is his most iconic role. He was buried in the suit of Dracula. And it's an original official edition action figure with original detail and quality of the Mego production. 8 inch figure with 14 points of articulation. <clears throat> Marty Abrams, aka the father of action figures, has relaunched these figures in response to the overwhelming demand for Mego. Uh, was started by his father, David Abrams, in 1954 and named by his younger brother, Howard, who would say Mego too. Howard would later become head of sales for the company Mego Core, selling over 20 million of its now standard 8 inch action figures worldwide and Mego Corporation is proud to take over the fine heritage today. So it's a family run business, obviously it's still going by the family by the looks of things and they are from uh, New York City by the looks of it. Join the official Mego fan club at Mego.toys Cool, I will go ahead and do that shortly, but yeah. Uh, on the front here, it just has the usual, it says horror in the top corner, tells you about the articulation of the figure, and of course has another lovely picture of Bella Lugosi here. But obviously there's no unboxing to be done because it's already unboxed, so let's go ahead and take a look at this action figure. This is my first ever Mego. <clears throat> I've never had any of, the, any of the classic ones or anything like that, and this is my first actual modern Mego. Didn't Mego figures make the original clothed, um, like Mr. Spock and Captain Kirk and things, like what you see in Big Bang Theory that Sheldon has? Is that Mego? Again, this is a new company for me. I'm really not used to them, not up on them. Uh, I normally go for Funko clothed 8 inch action figures, but this one was just too good a price to pass up and just looked too good. And obviously, I'm a massive fan of Universal Monsters, as you know. And I'm an even bigger fan of Dracula. So I really wanted this in my collection, especially with this being a really cool version of um, Ben Lugosi as well. He's a very, very iconic actor, and this is his most iconic role. So I really wanted to uh, cap capture that for my collection, and there's no better time than now to do these reviews. I love the fact that the clothes are removable as well, like his shoes and that do come off. It's like a proper like doll. Awesome. So let's have a look at the head. So the head is on a. It's not a ball joint, but he can look left and right, tra tra traditional doll style. How do the arms move? Uh, arms move forwards. Do they move outwards? They seem to have a little bit of movement there. And then there's obviously an elbow, and the hands are on ball joints, so you can get some very good sort of posing out of him. <laughs> I never drink wine. And obviously the clothes and that are all separate, so you can't actually take them off, which is nice, like I said. Um, legs, have a look, legs lift outwards, as well as forwards, with a, a single hinge knee there. 
They also rotate at that top hinge as well, so you can rotate his legs around. And the feet are on rocker and pivot. Wow. There's a lot of articulation there for a, like a basic doll figure. And again, I don't mind the price I paid for this. It's quite a reasonable price for what it is. And it looks very, very nice. And this the cloth, it's, the cloak itself feels like velvety. It actually feels very soft to touch. The clothes feel quality. A little bit more quality than what we look like, than what that nun felt like. I'm going to get the nun, actually. We'll compare them. I think the Bellagosi one's a little bit thicker. The nun feels quite thin by comparison. He's going to look awesome on the Dio. Yeah, so what do you guys think? What do you think of that face sculpt as well for Lugosi? It's not a bad likeness. Let me go to the desk cam, guys. We'll take him. We'll, we'll take him onto the actual, um, onto my Dio as well. Well, you guys will be able to get a proper up close personal look at him and see what he looks like on my Dio. It looks my Dio is obviously a nice gothic look to it. It actually matches um, the the style of Dracula. I think that that nice Dio. So let's go ahead to the desk cam and check it out. The children of the night. What great music they make. How awesome is this Dracula, guys? I really like this figure. I'm really interested. I like this Mego a lot. I'm definitely going to pick more of them up. They had the Castlevania Dracula as well in this in a couple of different styles. And they also did like black and white versions of these. They did the Wolfman, Friar Bride of Frankenstein, Frankenstein himself. Uh, they even did a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, so I'm definitely going to pick up more Universal Monsters in this style. They definitely do render themselves well to this style of doll. And I think Mego have captured this perfectly, and the quality, like I said, of the clothing feels like just insane for the price I've paid for this figure. Is this a bit, Can someone enlighten me on that? I mean, is this like an older collectible item that's just selling cheap now? Or is it because they're mass-produced now, or what is it? Because, I mean, like... It seems like it should be a like a very hard to find collectible, but they seems to be in, well in stock on Amazon and stuff. And they just feel very cool. And at that price, they're almost like Funko style collectible, you know what I mean? By that I mean, he's not breaking the bank just to collect a whole line of them. I could buy multiple versions of these cheaply on Amazon.com for like £15, £20 pounds and not feel the sting, you know what I mean? So for me, this is a good line to collect and they're very poseable. And quite sturdy. So let me zoom out and go ahead and turn on the lights here. Yeah. What music is it make? That's the only, the only line I can remember right now from the film. I'm trying to remember another one. Where I can't the life of me. Other than, I don't drink. Right. Or oh, be careful you've caught yourself. <laughs> That's from the other Dracula. It's not from Bella Lugosi's. Oh dear, there's so many different versions. I, I wonder if they've made like the Christopher Lee version of Dracula as well, because that would be sick as well to have. Right guys, let, let me know your thoughts on this Mego action figure in the comments below. But before we go away, I actually want to do a comparison. Oopsie daisy, sorry that's just one of them not falling off. Let's stand him there and let's actually bring in the um, Necker sort of equivalent here. No, they do actually look good together actually, they don't look out of place. The Necker one obviously has got higher quality when it comes to the face. Obviously the Mego ones are trying to replicate ooh, the old doll style. So they're a little bit limited when it comes to how they're going to represent them. So obviously they want to keep it traditional as well as make it feel modern. No, she's just going to constantly mess this up now. Hate this figure for the articulation. It winds me up every time. It just falls over all the time. Come on, Dracula, don't you start. Oh, no! My feet have gone squiff, and now I don't want to stand. Maybe it was the vine. <laughs> One second. For my great family to yours, I want to wish you the happiest of Halloweens. I am sorry, I just needed a moment to compose myself. <laughs> and then, of course, we've got the Diamond Select Dracula as well there, which I've still got to review. Me. Oh no! <laughs> no, stop falling over! Come on, Migo! Stand up, Amigo! 
Oh, you're gonna just be. Nope. Mm. Destroying everything now. I feel very drunk. Stay good, amigo. <laughs> So guys, anyway, what do you think of this figure? Let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, let's go back to the main camera and finish off this video. So guys, what are your thoughts on this on this Mego figure? Let me know in the comments down below. Is this a line of figures that you'd collect? Let us know in the comments. And uh, yeah, if there's any other Migos you want to see me pick up, collect and review on the channel, please let me know. As like I said, I am very interested in getting some more of these. So if you have any ideas, comments or whatever, just let us know and I'll speak to you very soon in the comments. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. May the force be with you. Bye.